Hey, good morning everyone. Trackman44 here. Hey, I've not been making a lot of videos lately because I've been involved in a project that's uh, requiring a little bit of thought. And I'm a little bit allergic to thought, so to speak. I should have been videoing all along, and here I am right at the tail end of the project. Well, there's still a little bit more to go. And I thought, well, you know what? No time like the present. May as well show you what I've been doing. My daughter and myself made these two big heavy doors, walnut, uh, walnut and yellow pine. We made these doors and everything and I never got around to, to hanging them. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm building some heavy duty rollers because these doors themselves are pretty heavy. There's no real reason to go into detail over here, but what I'm showing you is a piece of unit strut that I'm planning on using. Here's all my wall dimensions and the heights and everything. And here's the real close dimensions up here that I've got to work with because I wanted to hug that wall very, very closely. And then here's a basic or rudimentary design of what I want to make the hangers out of. And then I had to buy four commercial rollers for unit strut. And so that's, that's the blueprint right there. You can see some of the scrap down there, the metal that I just kind of uh, torched out of, uh, out of some pretty heavy uh, sheet steel because I needed to make four sets of these rollers right here. Now these here, this bend right here is gonna be the width of my door, which is an inch and seven sixteenths width. And they have to be a specific height down from the unistrut in order to get my clearance off of the floor. So that's why we've got uh, this, weird looking, this weird looking setup here. Here's a sample of the unistrut right here. They'll just roll right in that unistrut right there. Of course, these doors are like 37 inches wide. To make sure that I have the perfect spacing and everything on these pre-assembled, I've made a jig to where I can install these things or assemble these things all at the exact same height, which is going to give me a half of an inch up off of the floor. Well, I say a jig, but it's not really a jig. It's nothing more than a spacer that'll hold this at the level, the rollers at a level that I need it to be held at. It's going to sit in between the two halves of the supports. So those will sit on there like that. This guy will sit on here like this. This will go in the middle right here. That way, every single one of them is going to be the exact height that I need it to be because the height off of the floor is very, very critical. And so I just merely clamp this in place. With this, these flanges sitting down on this right here, I've got two different widths of the, of the mounting here so that it'll give me a, an adjustment left or right if I need the door to be farther away from the wall or closer to the wall. All I have to do is invert the hangers. So I'm going to run over to drill press and drill this. Go ahead and put a bolt in here and then uh, be right back. Now, if you're wondering why there are two different sizes, that's because without a CNC table, uh, this is all freehand and I needed to make two different sizes so I can keep the four identical or close to being identical on one side and then the four other ones on the other side because I've got eight individual parts and didn't have to think about it during assembly as to which ones go what or how it, they orient. Now, mind you, the unit stress is going to be it's going to be painted black as well, and it's going to be recessed. It's going to be completely out of sight, as well as all the way down to right about here. All you're going to see will be the door and the hardware sliding back and forth. So this will be one door, and this will be the other door. Well, I've got all the mounting hardware painted and hanging up there to dry right in front of the uh, run of, uh, front of the blowers. Over here, I've got about 105 inches of green unistrut. You can see it's all buffed up back in the back. That's so it'll go ahead and hold the paint. I'm going to go ahead and paint that black. And in front of it is a piece of flat iron. And you can see the markings on the flat iron where I've got the, uh, the studs marked. And so this is going to be bolted onto the, or welded onto this right here. And then the bottom of it is going to be protruding out. And everywhere one of these cross marks are is going to be a stud where this get a big long three inch screw right into a stud. And then I've got a flange here, a flange piece with a series of countersunk holes, and that's gonna be screwed into the plates and into a double header that's on the back side of the wall. So that's gonna give support past the opening. Okay, so now it's tacked on both sides, and I can go ahead and weld it, weld it the way I need it to be welded. I'm going to skip weld it ever so often. It's only going to have about 160 to 180 pounds of door weight. Well, here's the whole thing uh, painted, completely assembled, welded, uh, ready to install. And you can see the trolleys I've got here. These are uh, unistrut trolleys. They're made to uh, go inside your unistrut and either hang or go like this and roll on the bottom. But uh, I forgot what they're weighted, rated at. 
many hundreds of pounds a piece, so I'm going to have no problem with that at all. So that's the whole setup, and it's ready to go in. As soon as the paint dries, well, i got to get a couple more coats on it, and then uh, get the paint dry and get her installed. Now, because on each side of the door, there's going to be one of these uh, ornamental hangers, so to speak, even though they're different sizes on both sides, uh, I want all of them to have holes in exactly the same place. So what I've done, I made two patterns and put tape on the back side so don't scratch my paint. I've already got four of them already pre-drilled, and now I'm going to go ahead and mark and pre-drill this other set right here. That way, they're all going to be identical. So here's all the front and back door hanging hardware. So now I got one more coat of paint to go on these, one more coat of paint to go onto the rail, and we'll be about ready to uh, start assembly. Now I know this track system here ain't nothing like what you're going to see, you know, if you buy one in the store. All you're going to see whenever this is installed is going to be the bottom part of it because right now it's upside down, but this is going to be on the ceiling. This is going to be hanging down and the door is underneath it. And I'm going to completely cover this in with walnut. You're not going to see anything except for the two walnut trim pieces on either side of the rail. And you'll see, of course, just the bottoms of the hangers as it support the doors as the doors run through the track. That's the theory anyway. And you know what? I think the next time you see this is we're going to be on the job site assembling or trying to figure out how to get it all put up here. And for now, this is Trackman 44, and I'm out of here, guys.